Welcome to my basics classroom. Before we start, let us pray. Prayer. Father God, come be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our environment with peace. Fill our lesson with fun. Fill our friendship with kindness. Fill our school with love. Amen. Good day everyone. I hope everybody is doing fine and you are now answering your learning activities in our subject. Before we start our lesson, I want to I want to check your attendance for this video. For me to know that, all you have to do is to give your section and name on the comment part of this site. Today, we're going to tackle kinematics. Um, in this lesson, or kinematics or one-dimension one kinematics, in this topic, we will describe motion with words. Before we proceed with our lesson, let us review your knowledge regarding distance and displacement. Some people use distance and displacement as if they have the same meaning. But distance and displacement have distinctly different meaning. As you can see in this um, picture um, or in this presentation, there is a difference. There is a large difference between distance and displacement. So, yung object natin, it moves pra, uh, from um, this point, going east, going south, going east, and then south, 10 kilometers south, 15 kilometer west, and then 10 kilometer north, and then 5 kilometer west. So, if you want to calculate the value of the distance, we will just add all of this measurement to get the value of the distance and the distance will be equal to 70 kilometer but if you want to know the value of this displacement it would be 14 kilometer because we we just want to know how far yung object natin from initial position to the final position so ito yung displacement niya so as you can see we don't uh, need the direction when we want to know the value of the distance. Pero kung titing naman natin dito, tiniscuss natin sa vector, we know displacement is a vector, we will use the ways on how to add vector. So, this one is a head to tail method. So, we measure natin yung gano kalayo yung ating object from first position to initial position. That is 14 kilometers. So, clearly, distance and displacement are really different. So, kailangan natin ma-differentiate uh, ma ang bawat isa sa kanila kasi gagamitin natin mamaya ang distance and displacement. So, let's proceed with our uh, topic lesson or term na kailangan i-focus natin sa lesson natin for today. Kanina, we discuss distance and displacement. Now, let us proceed with speed and velocity. So, speed, let's proceed with speed. So, when we say speed, it is a scalar quantity and it refers to distance traveled along a path. So, scalar daw ang ating speed. So, when we say scalar, these are quantities in physics that measures the magnitude only. We don't care or we don't mind the direction of uh, this quantity. Kaya nga siya scalar lang kasi ang kailangan lang natin i-determine is the magnitude. And when it comes to speed, kalakip niya na yung word na distance. So, para makuha natin ang speed, we need first to understand and to see the distance of the object. So, when we measure it, dividing it by time, we can calculate the speed of the object. On the other hand, velocity is a vector quantity. So, kanina, scalar ang ating speed. Pagdating kay velocity, it is a vector quantity because we need to determine the magnitude and the direction of this physics quantity. So, when we see velocity again, it is a vector quantity that refers to the rate at which an object changes its position. So, we need to determine the position, kaya pala siya naging vector. And another one, para matandaan nyo na ang velocity ay vector quantity because it, measure, it needs the value of the 
displacement. So, for speed, we need the value of distance. For velocity, we need the value of the displacement. And we know displacement is a vector quantity. So, velocity is also a vector quantity. I hope you understand the difference between uh, speed and velocity. Okay, next. Imagine a person moving rapidly. One step forward and one step backward. So, pabalik-balik lang siya. So, uh, if we imagine that person, mga anak, parang um, bumabalik lang siya dun sa dati niyang position. So, dito sa sample naman, hindi person yan. Prag lang yan, no? So, pabalik-balik lang siya dun sa initial and position. So, forward, backward, and forward. So, kapag kaganan ng object, if we want to know the value of the velocity of that person, let's say yung person ay nagbubub, from um, step forward rather and backward. So, ang kanyang velocity ay 0. Kasi ang kanyang displacement ay 0. If we want to know yung kanyang displacement, gano'n siya kalayo mula sa initial at saka final position niya? 0. Kaya ang velocity niya ay 0. For you to understand more, no, we will proceed in calculating average speed and average velocity. So, kaya nga, uh, din, uh, i-define -def mo natin ang speed and velocity. So, since pupunta na tayo sa calculation, kailangan meron na tayong equation. Again, for speed, ang gagamitin natin, that is, sabi nga, how far an object travel in a given period of time. So, that is between far or distance and time. So, ang formula ng ating average speed is distance traveled over time. How about velocity? So, velocity is equal to displacement over time elapsed. So, halos pa rin ang formula nila, ang pinagkaiba lang, speed, we need to determine the distance. For velocity, we need to determine the displacement. So, tandaan lang natin itong equation na itong dalawa na to because we will use this later on. So, let's begin implementing our understanding of the formula na binigay ni Mang Kanina with the following problem na ipopost ko later. So, bago tayo magsimula doon sa proper solving, uh, I want to introduce the Gresa na sinasabi ko na dati pa. Last time, ang, ang sinog lang natin is all about vectors. So, hindi pa tayo gumamit ng Gresa doon. So, na-inform ko na yung iba kung ano nga ba yung Gresa. For, para sa iba naman na hindi siya matandaan, so, i-define ko lang ulit. Mnemonics lang yan kung paano magsasolve. So, may ibig sabihin yung G-R-E-S-A. So, when we see G, that is stands for given. So, ano po yung given, ma'am? Ito yung mga nasa problem mo. Ito yung given na gagamitin mo para masolve yung problem. Commonly, naka-numbers yan nasa problem makikita. If marunong kang maghanap ng given, may one point ka na agad kay ma'am. Di ba? Next is required. Required, obviously, ito yung hahanapin. Ito yung isasolve mo. No? Kasi kapag alam mo na yung given at required, at the same time, malalaman mo na equation. Ano po yung equation, ma'am? Ito yung formula. So, in this case, ang formula ay binigay ko kanina ng speed and velocity. So, ito lang gagamitin natin for the meantime na sa lesson natin ngayon. So, given required equation and next is solution. So, pag may given ka na may required equation solution, meron ka na agad points din sa apat na yan. Kasi unti-unti nyan, masosolve mo na yung problem na binigay ni ma'am. Sa solution mga anak, sa substitute mo lang yung given dun sa equation, iyon na yung solution. Sa solution, makikita natin dyan yung cancellation ng mga units, no? And para mas madaling checkan, syempre, ibabox natin yung ating final answer. So, ito na yung pinakadulo. Kasi minsan sa solution, marami ka pang answer-answer dyan. Unlike kung meron tayong uh, space for answer, yan. Malalaman ko na, madadali, madaling checkan at the same time, maayos ang pagsusog. Kapag maayos ang pagsusog, magiging maayos din yung iyong sagot. And at the same time, pag nakasanaya mong i-apply ito, masusog mo ang mga physics problem. So, let us proceed. Bago tayo uh, magsimula sa pr uh, proper solving, mga anak, I hope everybody you have your uh, pen and pen uh, pen and paper with you para masabay nyo si ma'am while we are solving here. No? Okay, let's proceed. So, this one is our first problem. Let's say, uh, while on a vacation, so, si Lisa or Lisa Clark traveled a total distance of 440 miles. 
Her trip took 8 hours. What was her average speed? So again, mga anak, gagamitin natin yung DESA. So we will use, uh, we will find the given, required, equation, solution, and then the answer. So as you can see in the problem, we have 440 miles and 8 hours. So those are the given. So you need to put this uh, given to your, uh, given in a problem rather. So you need to put this a number to your given. Kasi meron ka na yan. So, it was clearly stated in the problem. So, yun yung first step. So, D is equal to 440 months. And then, time is equal to 8 hours. Next is, on the problem, you can see, ang sabi dyan, we need to find the average speed of isa. So, directly, you can write it on your equation. So, this would be B is equal to question mark. Why question mark? Because we don't know the value. Next, we can proceed with the equation. So, I already posed the equation a while ago. So, that is speed is equal to distance over time. So, this is distance and this is time. Next, we can proceed with the solution. So, for solution, you will just substitute this given to your equation on our solution. So, it goes like this. B is equal to 440 miles over 8 hours. So, that would, our solution would look like, no? Uh, it contains the given and uh, given substituted to the equation. So, the answer, do, uh, just doing the math, no? The answer would be speed is equal to 55 miles per hour. So, I hope everybody, you have your answer with you. So, if you have question, just uh, write down your question on the comment part or comment section of this site where I post this video lesson. Next, let us proceed with the second problem. So, here's the second problem. Suppose your physics teacher walks 4 meters east, 2 meters south, 4 meters west, and finally 2 meters north. The entire motion lasted for 24 seconds. Determine the average speed and the average velocity. For this case, mga anak, if you want to try solving this problem, um, just post it, this video presentation. And then, if you know the answer, you just play the video presentation. Now, let us proceed with the solution. In this case, uh, medyo mahaba yung problem natin. And marami tayong given na distance traveled by our physics teacher. So, since we're dealing with velocity given in a problem, so that is a vector quantity. And in our previous lesson, we uh, use vector diagrams to represent our vectors. So, in this case, I will show you my vector diagram. So, I have here my physics teacher. So, let's say I am your physics teacher. Since I'm your physics teacher, let's say this one is Mom Laika. Okay. So, Ma'am Laika, or your physics teacher, walks 4 meter east and then 2 meter um, south. As you can see, I add the second vectors to this one. So, I use head, uh, head to tail method. Next is 4 meter um, west and then 2, meter, two meters north. So, this is my uh, vector diagram. So, since I have my diagram in this presentation, I can, um, I can now proceed to the proper problem solving. So, again, I will guess a format given, required, equation, and solution, and then the answer. For our given, as you can see in the problem, it's already stated. So, I have four. One, two, three, four. Four given. So, I will uh, label it as distance 1, distance 2, distance 3, and distance 4. Okay, let's proceed. Distance 1 is equal to 4 meter is. So, that is the 4 meter is and the problem. Distance 2 is 2 meters south. So, we have 2 meters south in the problem. 4 meter west. So, that is 4 meter west. And finally, 2 meters north. So, these are my distance traveled. So, those are the distance traveled by your physics teacher in the problem. And another one, aside from distance, 
or displacement by the uh, distance traveled by our physics teacher, we also have the time. So it is stated that the time uh, you uh, covered by your physics teacher lasted for 24 seconds. So write din natin yan kasi that is your given. Next, let us proceed with the required. As you can see in the problem, we need to determine the speed and the average velocity. So, dalawa. So, we need to find two. So, for that, I will use letter A and letter B. So, required A and required B. For required A, A that is speed. For required B, that is velocity. So, as you can see in the problem, um, I use this symbol. So, this symbol for speed and this symbol for average velocity. Para hindi ako malito. Since uh, velocity is a vector quantity, I put arrow here. And in some physics book, you can see velocity with an arrow uh, uh, sa taas niya. No? With an arrow head. No? To denote that velocity is a vector quantity. So, V for speed. Okay. So, for our equation, we also have two equations. That is equation A and we have equation B. For our equation A, speed. So, we know the formula. B is equal to distance over time. For velocity, we have V is equal to distance by uh, displacement over time. So, that is the difference between the two. We will use these two equations to find the value of our required. So, now we can now proceed with the solution. Let's start with letter A. We will substitute the given, those given, those four distance and time in this equation. So, our solution would be A is equal to B is equal to 4 meter plus 2 meter plus 4 meter plus 2 meter. So, over 24 seconds. So, as you can see, I write those given to uh, in a format of our equation and we have our time. Proceeding, we have B is equal to 12 meter over 24 seconds and that equal to 0 0.5 meter per second. As simple as that. So we do the math, we add this one and divide by 24 seconds so we have 0 0.5 meter per second. So that is the value of our speed. Next, we need to find the value of our displacement. In this case, we will use a um, way on how to solve vectors. Pero, kailangan pa ba nating mag-solve? Kung sa vector diagram pa lang natin, we can uh, see na yung um, pa, uh, displacement ng object. Pag sinabi natin displacement, position, change in position, nagbago nga ba siya ng position? So, para mas maintindihan nyo, hindi ba't bumalik lang sa dating position ng ating physics teacher? 4 meter, um, 4 meter south, I sorry, 4 meter east and then 2 meter south, 4 meter west, and 2 meter south. So, kaya add natin to 4 meter positive plus negative 4 meter zero na agad yan. And then, ito naman, parehong horizontal direction, 2 meter south negative plus positive 2 north. Na ituro ko na sa inyo yun sa vector addition. So, magiging 0 pa rin. So, 0 plus 0 would be 0. So, ang ating displacement is 0. As you can see in the diagram, babalik lang siya sa dati niyang position. So, for, uh, for this, para mas makita, so, lagyan natin sa solution, B is equal to B is equal to 0 meter over 24 seconds is equal to 0 meter over S. So, ang value ng ating velocity would be 0. Ma'am, bakit po gano'n naging 0? Kasi ang ating displacement ay 0. And velocity is a vector quantity. And bumalik lang tayo sa position natin. So, in this example, we can really differentiate uh, this, uh, sorry, speed from velocity. No? Kasi we need to consider the direction. Unlike, unlike this one, we just add all of the distance traveled by the object. So, final, for finalization ng ating sagot, so the answer for A, uh, speed is equal to 0 0.5 meter per second, and then uh, velocity is equal to 0 meter per second. Okay, so I hope you understand this problem and you have your same answer with me. So, let us proceed with the next slide. Thank you.
So, here's the problem. Let's say, um, this problem, mga anak, again, you need to solve it by your own. No? Kahit na ito ay video presentation lang. For you to solve it with your own, pakipost mo na yung video. No? Kapag may sagot na, just play lang again yung video. So, let's say, na play na, uh, na solve na natin yung uh, problem. So, again, ito yung problem natin. How much time does it take a person to walk 12 km north at a velocity of 6.5 km per hour? So, again, we will use GLESA, given, required, equation, solution, and then the answer. So, in this problem, we have 12 km and 6.5 km per hour. So, sulat natin sa given, D is equal to 12 km north. And then, value of our velocity is 6.5 km per hour. So, in the problem, ang tanong, how much? So, obviously, how much time? So, the required is the value of our time. So, time is question mark. So, we don't know the value because we need to find the value of the time. Or the time does it take for a person to walk 12 km north at a velocity of 6 0.5 km. So, gano'n siya kaya katagal, no? If he, if his velocity is 6.5 km and you're going to travel uh, 12 km north. So, for this, the equation of velocity is V is equal to D over time. So, ito na ba yung gagamitin natin? So, hindi pa ito yung gagamitin natin kasi we need to find the value of the time. So, yung iba, magaling naman mag-solve, pwede na tayong mag-directly. Ilagay lang yung velocity here. And then, ilagay nyo lang yung distance dito and then solve. For others na nahihirapan, we will derive the formula. First step to derive the formula, since we have V, uh, we just imagine, we have over it by 1. So, imaginary over 1. No? Para pareho silang maging fraction. And then, i-cross multiply lang natin sila. So, that is B times T and D times 1. So, B times T is equal to BT and D times 1 is equal to D. So, B times T, BT, D times 1 is D. Next, we need to find the value of time. So, kailangan mawala itong velocity. No? So, we need to uh, divide it both side by V. Okay, so it goes like this. So, Vt is equal to, over V is equal to D over V. So, over it by V and then we can cancel the value of V in this case. And the formula to be used is D is equal to D over V. So, that is the formula that we're going to use. So, since the missing value that we need to find is the value of our time. So, same with this. So, time can be calculated with distance over velocity. So, we can now proceed with that solution. So, for solution, T is equal to 12 km over 6.5 km per hour. So, as you can see, I just substitute the given to the equation that we've derived. No? Yung iba, kahit hindi kayo mag-derive, okay lang. Kaya lang, dito, mas para mas madino nag-derive si ma'am. Para din matutunan ng iba kung paano ba mag-derive sa physics. So, in this case, sa problem natin, we have kilometer here. So, kilometer can be what? Can be cancelled. So, cancel natin yung kilometer. Ang natira nating unit is R. So, yun yung maganda sa solution. Mapapakita natin yung mga unit na pwede natin makancel. And at the same time, matitira yung unit na kailangan natin. And ang dito natira yung R. So, ibig sabihin, we have, uh, we, we are correct with our solution. So, five, uh, do, doing the math, so the, the answer would be 1.8 so, that is the time travel for a person. So, ito yung mauubos niya na time para matravel yung 12 km if the velocity of that person is 6.5 km per hour. So, I hope everybody, you have your same answer with me. No? So, napakadili lang yan. Since our lesson for today is all about describing motion in one dimension or kinematics and we are done with speed and velocity a while ago, let us proceed with the other physics quantity that is used to describe motion. So, this is acceleration. Sports announcers will occasionally say that a person is accelerating if he or she is moving fast. So, kaya nga sa minsan sinasabi, oh, mabilis ka. You are accelerating. Yet, 
acceleration has nothing to do with going fast. So, kahit mabilis ka, um, sometimes, pwede natin masabi na mabilis ka lang, but you are not accelerating. A person can be moving very fast and still not be accelerating. Acceleration has to do with changing how fast an object is moving. No? If an object is not changing its velocity, then the object is not accelerating. So, one condition, the object must what? Anong sabi dyan sa ating um, presentation? The object must change its velocity for us to tell or to uh, visualize na ang ating object is accelerating. It, it needs to change its velocity. No? Uh, laging tatandaan, a person can be moving very fast and still not be accelerating. So, hindi, na, hindi lahat ng mabilis ay may acceleration. How can we know if an object is accelerating or has acceleration? So, there are some concepts to remember for us to be able to know if the object has acceleration. First one, when an object is increasing in velocity over time, it's said to be accelerating. So, increasing velocity. So, kapag ka increasing velocity, our acceleration will be positive. So, increasing velocity, accelerating, positive acceleration. When an object is decreasing velocity over time, said to be decelerating. So, kapag ka-increasing, may changes pa din sa velocity. Pag decreasing, there is also changes in velocity. But if velocity is increasing, the value of our acceleration is positive. How about if the, uh, the velocity is decreasing, pababa ang ating velocity? So, the acceleration will, will, give, uh, will be negative. And if an object is moving at constant velocity, it is said to be moving with zero acceleration. So, kapag ang ating velocity is not changing, so ibig sabihin constant, let's say a car travel 2.0 uh, km per hour at constant velocity, that means the object or the car rather does not accelerate and or does not accelerate because it has a constant velocity. So, or we can say that the acceleration of that car is zero. As simple as that. Okay. So again, what is acceleration? Let us define acceleration occasion, uh, operationally. Acceleration is a change in velocity over time. So, if there is a change in velocity of the object, there is acceleration. Always remember the thing. And then, acceleration is a rate. So, just like speed and velocity, acceleration is also a rate. If um, you want to know the value of how fast an object, rate of the how, rate of the object or rate on how fast the object is, that is speed. And when it comes to rate on the displacement of the object over time, that is velocity. And when, if you want to know the rate of the object in changing its velocity, that is acceleration. So what will be the unit for acceleration? The unit for acceleration, if speed is meter per second and velocity is also meter per second, the, the acceleration unit would be meter per uh, s squared or second squared. No? Uh, later, you will understand that unit as we go on the solving problem. Okay, so for before we proceed with the prob problem solving, here's the equation to be used for us to determine the acceleration of an object. So, A is equal to V minus V0. What does it mean? That is final velocity minus initial velocity over time. So, this is your uh, final velocity and this is your initial. So, we put 0 here. Or you can use v2 minus v1 or v uh, sub b or over or minus b sub a. You can use this one. So, in this case, I will use v, that means final velocity, minus v0 or v initial velocity or your first velocity over time since acceleration is the change in velocity. Or we can also write the equation as a is equal to change in velocity over change in time. So, that is the formula of our acceleration. For an object to accelerate, there are three ways. First one, we, the object must speed up. So, when the object speed up, means 
there is a change in velocity. Let's say the object moved 2 meter per, uh, two meter per second, then speed up to 3 meter per second. So there is a change in velocity means the object accelerate. Next one is slow down. So if the object slow down, there is also acceleration. Sometimes people uh, consider uh, slowing down or as deceleration because it will give you negative acceleration. Let's say you are um, traveling a certain uh, pathway with a speed of 10 km, then at, at some point may nakita kang object na pahinto ka, nag-slow down ka, or nag-bumagal ka rather, rather than huminto. So, dun sa pag-slow down na yun, there is a change in the speed or velocity. So, there, if there is a change in velocity, still, that is also acceleration. Some people call it as deceleration. Next is change in direction. Of course, even though you are not speeding up or slowing down, if you are changing your direction, there is also changing changes in your displacement. And we know that displacement has something to do with velocity. So, if there is a change in displacement, there will be a change in velocity. So, means that object is also accelerating. I hope everybody uh, see the relationship between uh, displacement and velocity. Velocity and acceleration. So, for us to know or to understand the or to apply the equation I posted a while ago, equation of the acceleration, and for us to understand more about acceleration, let us proceed with a practice problem. Make sure you have, again, your uh, paper and your pen. So, and also your calculator para mas mabilis. Okay, let's start. So, here's the first problem. A car velocity increases from 4.0 meter per second to 36 meter per second over a 4 seconds period. What is the acceleration? Again, we'll use the GESA. So, for this case, we have the given. So, sulat natin ang given. Ang problem, we have 4.0, 36, and 4.0. So, determine lang natin. Meter per second. So, that is velocity. 36 meter per second is also velocity. So, we have two velocity here. So, we will use V1 and V2. So, for V1, we have 4.0 meter per second. So, that is your initial velocity. So, V1. For our V2, or the final velocity, dalawa lang naman ang velocity dito, so we have 36 meter per second. So, I use V sub 1 and V sub 2 to show which one is the first and which one is the last one. Or you may use V initial, V final. It's up to you. In this case, I use 1 and 2. So, you will put um, V sub F for, I V sub I rather for initial and V sub F4 final. So, it's up to you if you want to use this one. And another are given is the time uh, covered by the person in changing it. Uh, I saw not, not the person rather, but the car. No? So, ito, 4.0 seconds of the time. And then the required, so it is obviously stated, what is the acceleration of the car? So, for us, so let us write A is question mark again because we don't know the value. So, for equation, we will just substitute. I know, we will just uh, use this equation V1, V2, T, and A. So, for this, you already know what is the equation. So, equation with the A is equal to change in V over T. So, change in V over T, that means V2 minus VI. So, final minus initial velocity over time. So, let us substitute the equation or the given to the equation. Na? So, it will go like this. Solution A is equal to 36 final minus initial 4.0 meter per second over time 4.0 seconds. So, this is your Final. So, kasi kapag ka na mali kayo dyan, let's say nalagay mo dito yung initial, dito yung final, mali na. Remember, we need to find the change in velocity. That's why final yung mong dito. So, that is 36 minus 4.0. So, doing the math, the answer would be 32 meter per seconds over 4.0. 
So the answer, 32 divide 4.0. So the answer is 8.0 meter per second squared. So second squared kasi nung multiply natin to para silang denominator. Hindi natin sila makakancel. So that is S times S. So we have S squared. So the unit for acceleration is meter per second squared. Kasi hindi natin makakancel to. As you can see, this is denominator. No? So, I hope you understand this problem. Now, ready? Kasi sa next problem, kayo na ang magsasagot. Okay. This is the second problem. This time, kayo na yung magsasagot. Basahin muna natin. A bus is moving 20, at 25 meter per second. The driver steps on the brake. So, pinapakan yung brake. And the bus stops in 3.0 seconds. So, nag-stop yung bus from 25 meter per second. Stops daw siya. No? Hindi siya directly sinabi, pero nag-stop. Tingnan ko ano yung velocity nun. In 3.0 second, find the acceleration of the bus. So again, um, pakipost yung video. Just post this video. And then try to solve this problem. When done, just play the video again to check your answer. Okay. Let's say you already answered the problem. So here, here it goes. So the given, we have initial velocity. The bus moves 25 meter per second. So that is your initial. And final would be zero. Because the driver steps on the brakes and the bus stops. So it is not really stated on the problem that the velocity, the final velocity is zero. But, but if you will understand the problem, it says that the, uh, the driver steps on the brake. And the bus stop. So, what would be the velocity? Of course, zero. So, hihinto yung ating bus. So, ang final mo is from 25 meter per second. The velocity goes to zero meter per second. I hope everybody, everyone understand uh, why we put here zero meter per second based on the problem. Next, the required in this case, we have 3.0 seconds. So, we have the value of our time. Next, the required. So, we have here the required. It is already stated. The acceleration pa rin. So, that is A is equal to question mark. We need to find the value of this one. And then, equation. Acceleration is equal to change in V over T. Or, that is V2 minus VI. Final minus initial over time. Okay. Now, let's proceed with our solution. Ito yung aking formula. I will substitute this given to the formula. So, we have B2 minus Bi. So, it goes like this. A is equal to um, final. We have 0 meter per second minus 25 meter per second. Kasi yung final mo nakahinto ka. So, that is 0. Ito initial mo. Noong una, the bus moves 25 meter per second. So, yung time to sa pagbabago ng kanyang velocity is 3.0. So, the answer would be 0 minus negative 25. That is negative 25 meter per second. Divide 3.0 second. So, the answer, I hope everybody have the same answer. So, that is negative 8.3 meter per second square. I hope everybody, uh, you got the same answer with me. So, napakadali lang, no? Basta gagamitin lang natin yung basta. So, motion in one dimension pa lang yan. Kaya, madali lang. I hope everybody you understand acceleration. So, ganun lang. No? So, kung may tanong kayo, pwede nyo i-post sa ating uh, or pwede nyo akong i-message and at the same time, sa ating stream sa Google Classroom ninyo, pwede nyo doon i-post ang inyong mga tanong. No? And pwede rin i-message si ma'am, lalo na kung period natin. And then, for our evaluation, mga anak, I will post the question on your Google Classroom. I hope everybody uh, naintindihan, so I will end this slide. Goodbye!